Okay, so now you are off to get sacred water for the water dragon. And uh, you're back in Farron Woods. So you can see you're in the southwest corner and you want to make your way back to the sacred temple. But first, um, I put a little marker down where there's a heart piece. So I always roll these things in case you want to come back. And then head up this path to the right. And you'll see a little safe statue to your right. So, I'm just gonna activate that so I can come back here later if I want from the sky. But right from here, you just wanna pretty much go due north to that little spot, and there should be a bombable wall right there. So, I don't have any bombs. So I just went back to Skyloft and bought some real quick, so I could show uh, picking up the heart piece. There it is. One more to go, alright. So since I'm going to practically the other side of the map, I find it easier to just go to the sky and then uh, transport back down to where I want to go. So, to the sky, please. So I just go to the sky, turn back around, drop back into Elden, Elden, uh, Farron Woods. And when it asks me where I want to land, I want to go back to the Forest Temple, Which is also the sacred temple. I don't know why they didn't just call it the forest temple. Um, <clears throat> oh, so now that you have the harp, there is a group of butterflies right here. Kind of by where you got that first goddess cube. So, get a little item. What do we got here? Goo, jelly blob. And then he just tells you about glittering spores, which are you can get from uh, the sparkling mushrooms, and it it makes bugs move super slow if you like sprinkle it on them. You have to use like a bottle to get it. That's <clears throat> what you use to revive that Loftwing in the one of the side quests earlier. So back in the sacred temple. And there's new enemies that have respawned. Oh, sacred sky view temple. I was calling it the sacred temple. I don't know why they didn't call it the forest temple. Sky view temple. Whatever. Anyway, uh, just head on through here. I'm not even gonna bother with that guy. If you were in this temple earlier, there's a little shortcut you made for yourself right behind where I'm standing now. But there's some butterflies. So, uh, I guess this guy's gonna talk to me. But that thing on the wall, you can draw on it and it'll give you different things. So like if you draw a heart, it'll give you hearts. Um, I think you might have to learn what to draw before it'll work. I'm not entirely sure. But I know I've used it to draw arrows and hearts. 
So what am I going to draw? A circle. And what does that mean? Three hearts. Alright. Got to do my dig spots. So, once you're back in this area, notice there's some new enemies floating around, and that there is a locked door right there in the middle. So, you're going to have to find a small key. Yes, and I got that fish to blow up that guy. Oh, can't resist grabbing the amber relic. Oh, there's one more. Might as well grab it. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm going to be heading through the door to the right. Okay, so you're going to have to find the key that he got. Not in there. So, <clears throat> you can swim underwater, so jump down here and go through this little hole that you crawled through earlier. Way earlier in the game. And up here in this dig hole should be the key. I did look around in the other rooms and there really wasn't much of anything. So once you get the key, head on into the next room.